So I'm gonna climb the Mont Blanc with a heart disease and a few fights. Let's go. So, to fill some more information about all of this in here, been driving now about five hours uh, from Belgium, Chamonix, where the Mont Blanc is, which is in France, is about eight hours and 30 minutes driving from Belgium. So I got about three more hours and 30 minutes to drive. Uh, I think it's now about one o'clock a.m. We'll probably drive a little bit more. Don't feel like too extremely tired and might go and sleep like I think at two or three. One thing that I just wanna say already here is how much your life sucks or how awesome your life is really is all determined about how much fear controls your life. I'm here in Chamonix between the mountains and the Mont Blanc is over there somewhere over there in that direction some big ass mountains <laughs> I have to say I am a little bit nervous a little bit scared despite the training that I've done and the mental preparations that I've done could go a lot of things wrong. I don't know how this all will go. I don't know if I will make it to the top and uh, not because I don't want to but because the weather, right? The weather is a big factor. If there's too much wind, too much storm going on, then uh, they will not take us up. Also, never know if I will fall or break something. These are just all things that you have to see on the moment itself. <laughs> So today is the day where my program starts. I have arrived here um, like two days before it. And um, it's from the 22 to the 28th. It's a mountaineering program. So it's like three days that we get prepared and learn some mountaineering skills. And then it's three days where uh, we will do the attempt to climb the Mont Blanc. Uh, it's kind of to give you the highest amount of chance in succeeding it because you have the preparation and everything and then you also get used to the altitude in those three days before before you go and climb the Mont Blanc and uh, today is the day when everything is starting so uh, 22 I have to meet them at 6 p.m. for an introduction evening and with an evening meal as well and with the team and the guides that I am going with to the Mont Blanc but uh, well it's I think now about 9 or 10 I think it's more about 10 I'm just gonna go into Chamonix look a little bit around drink a coffee do a little bit of working before I am meeting them and uh, I do need rain pants so I'm also gonna buy them I think when I'm climbing the Mont Blanc, there's gonna be a whole mix of good weather, rain, and a lot of wind, and very cloudy, I think, too. 
All right, it's six o'clock almost in 10 minutes. I'm heading now back to the castle to meet everyone. Yes. So I just came back, met up with everyone, got our introduction, had a nice evening meal, a uh, very cool group. Tomorrow I am going to Italy, two hour drive and then we're climbing our first mountain and there's um yeah I'm I'm curious because there is a big part that is very openly exposed to heights. Uh, there were some other people who did it where I was talking to today and it's a very narrow area where you have to walk on <laughs> and when you look next to you it's just straight down. So, yeah, something uh, that I am a little bit nervous about, but uh, I know I can put myself into the state of just doing it and not thinking too much. It's just about concentrating on the movements and getting out of your head and into your body. That's really <laughs> the thing. And I've had a lot of, I've put myself in a lot of places where I had to do that. So I know I'm able to do that, but it's still a nervous thing to look to or to look forward to I had a great dinner, it was pretty amazing, it was like a three course dinner with everything on it. <laughs> And tomorrow we are hiking up for five more hours up to the top over there which is gonna be a lot more technical and a lot more interesting where we will need to use our crampons our ice axe will be going into the snow in the glaciers and uh, the mountain is called El Caparizo or something I'm gonna put it up here because I have no idea I'm bad with names but we have to stand up at 5 a.m. Walk up for five hours, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be an interesting day. Let's get some sleep. <laughs> so it's 4:30 a.m., and uh, we're off to summit the mountain at 5 a.m. So in half an hour, everyone should be outside, ready with their headlights on to go to the top. Didn't sleep much. Someone snored a lot, a lot. I slept like two hours, so uh, it's gonna be a rough day. Eight hours of walking. No, <laughs> calm him down a bit. <laughs> Give me an hour, I'll, I'll be at the back. Alright, we're almost getting close to the glacier.
I just came back. We did not reach it. We were 200 meters from the top, but the weather conditions were just terrible, terrible. So here in my car, as you can see, I guess, <laughs> Tomorrow is the day that we are gonna go and climb the Mont Blanc. So I have to stand up at 7.45, breakfast at 8, and then at 9, we're gonna go up. It's a two hour hike to the hut, and then from there, it's a 12 hour hike uh, up and then down. So that's gonna be a, a, a long day, a tough day. And it's one of those things that a lot of people, it's hard, it's very hard to describe to someone who has never done this, any kind of intense hikes like this. Like El Paradiso was, it was 4,000 meters, which was, I mean, I've trained a lot for this and I didn't feel tired, but you could, you know, my whole belly was suffering in a lot of ways, though. And with the Mont Blanc, it will be just 10 times worse in so many ways. But I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. The only thing that can stop me is the weather. That's the only thing that will stop me. Yeah. 
So yesterday made it to the top of the Mont Blanc. Probably one of the most brutal and toughest days of my life, but also one of the <laughs> and one of the scariest. Because there were some parts that were just so exposed to heights, it was just insane. Where just one step and you you will be gone. But it was also one of the most incredible experiences because I challenged myself on so many levels mentally physically it was it was amazing um, but tough very tough I trained five months for this and with five months you know I, I don't mean like running once a week I meant like seven days a week I trained for this and uh, yeah it was still incredibly tough uh, because you know 12 hours having slept two hours then and almost no food no water and you just keep moving all the time it's a hard thing it's a very hard thing but uh, it's yeah it's just a very mental thing the thing is just you gotta keep moving all the time it's pretty incredible that it's already over that yesterday I was on the top and that now I'm going down back to Chamonix so fast and uh, it's a two hour hike downstairs and then the first thing I'm gonna do is take a shower because I need one <laughs> really badly and then some proper food and some clean clothes for sure and uh, yeah then this trip is already over which is just so fast it was an incredible trip <sighs> for anyone who is willing to go on a true challenge this is pretty one that uh, I could recommend. Mont Blanc, you were a true challenge. I'm looking forward to the next challenge here.